what you can real what you don't need to uh, realize is that this is VSync, and so basically what it is is it basically um, lags your video card or slows it down to match your monitor. So that means like Roblox can seem a little bit choppy every now and then, like it feels like super super unresponsive. Now, but as you can see right now, it's kind of lame. 60 FPS, like seriously, man, 60. Okay, just double click injector now as you can see now 160 180 like we just instantly added 100 fps and this just feels super super smooth hey everyone my name is Mr. today i'm gonna be playing some jailbreak and what i've discovered recently is a really really interesting trick i'm not sure if you guys know about this but there's currently in roblox a 60 fps limit which i can show you by pressing shift f5 and as you can see up here the FPS is limited at 60. What I'm gonna go ahead is show you how to unlock it just like so. Now Roblox is at 70, 80 FPS. I'm gonna go ahead and just become a prisoner and you can see I'm running jailbreak at um, a fairly high FPS. I mean, I would be able to get higher if I wasn't recording on my CPU. So like whenever I'm not recording, I have like some screenshots of it. I'll throw it up here from like 80 FPS in Jailbreak, 100 close to that, and like 120 in Phantom Forces, 300 in the Egg Hunt game. I'll show you this is not limited to just Jailbreak, and that this trick will work across basically all of Roblox. So I'm going to show you how to get to the link, download, install, and basically everything you need to know to get unlimited FPS in Roblox. So what you need to do is go to this URL right here. It's a GitHub link. It says um, confirmed virus free. I've run several antivirus scans. I've told my Discord to run some antivirus scans. None of it has shown up as like any like malicious software. He just made the script. It basically just removes the FPS cap from within Roblox's script. So what, what you gotta do is click clone or download. Download as a zip file and you save it onto your computer like so. And once it is on your computer, you wanna open it up and you'd see something like this. And what you need to do is press extract and just extract it and it'll pop up inside a new folder as you can see right here. And then you run injector whenever you are inside a Roblox game. So what I'm gonna do is go over here to jailbreak. We're gonna launch up jailbreak and I'll show you what to do next. So I'm here inside Jailbreak, I'm gonna go ahead and become a police officer, maybe like get some weapons. And so, and just like run around here, I'm gonna do Shift F5, and as you can see, my frame rate is limited to 60 frames every second, which for most people and most monitors, it shouldn't really be an issue. But what you can real, what you don't need to uh, realize is that this is VSync, and so basically what it is is it basically um, lags your video card or slows it down to match your monitor. So that means like Roblox can seem a little bit choppy every now and then, like it feels like super, super unresponsive. Now, basically this like injector shortcut that I'm about to show you, it basically removes the VSync feature in Roblox and allows you to get unlimited FPS. So once again, you wanna come over here to the folder that you just unzipped that file from. There's gonna be a file called injector and you wanna double click and it was notice like something like Windows protected your PC. More info and run anyway. And as you can see right here, we are hitting 100, 200 FPS in jailbreak. Like, depending on which server it is, like it's like heavily related to the server performance, which is some dumb Roblox optimization that they really need to fix so that we can hit like even better performance in games. But as you can see right now, I'm flying around inside my helicopter, my VIP server, and we're hitting 150 to 160 FPS. Right here, it shouldn't really matter like what system you have because as you can see on performance, like there's the CPU is not even fully utilized. So and also GPU is like kind of decently utilized. So I think Roblox might have released like a few updates like since the last time I tried out this trick. So like I'm hitting close to 200 FPS on this um jailbreak VIP server. So that means like for some reason whenever there's more and more players then the server just lags even more and more until like the train does its funny things. So that's why VIP servers work a lot better because you can clearly see this server I'm getting 180 FPS, the other one I was only getting half of it. And whenever you are getting half of it and the train does funny stuff. And what you might notice is like now whenever you move your screen around, it's Roblox just seems so much more responsive. It's like super super beneficial for like Phantom Forces and other like Roblox um, battle games. So like if you ever played like Fortnite or something, you've realized how like how smooth it is and you want that same thing in Roblox, well, this is how you do it. You basically just run that injector and now I'm just flying around in jailbreak and it seems super smooth. And I will show you now 
it's not just jailbreak that gets this like super boost so right now i'm here on the uh, egg hunt menu i'm gonna go ahead and just press play head into some random egg hunt game so i know many of you guys are like getting the golden dominus so golden dominus in case you guys don't know is in the egg hunt game uh, Egg Hunt 2018, the Lumber Tycoon 2 one is a fake, in case you guys aren't aware. But as you can see right now, it's just kind of lame. 60 FPS, like, seriously, man, 60? Okay, just double-click Injector, now, as you can see now, 160, 180. Like, we just instantly added 100 FPS, and this just feels super, super smooth. And we're gonna go ahead and go to, like, Hard Boiled City and something. I'm gonna show you that as long as you have not closed Roblox, then this thing should still work. So you can see right now I'm getting like about 110 FPS on Roblox and I did not have to um, reopen that. It's because I did not Alt F4 or Escape Out Enter or whatever you want to do to get out of Roblox. Like, Roblox has been open while I was teleporting to this new world. So, how to get the egg, basically I'll do a quick like tutorial I guess in, in the, another tutorial kind of style. G, U, N, T, E, and R. And you get like this funny animation. Okay, so as you can see here, we're inside this new world. And because it's a single player world, you can see I'm getting like 200 to 300 FPS. Now, this obviously will vary between like system to system. Like people that like have integrated graphics like Intel HD might only get like 90 at graphics 1 or something. Like, may maybe not even 90, but like they, they probably won't see that much of an improvement over 60. But as you can see right now... Inside the uh, chicken obby, which I really dislike. I mean, I wish it was a PvP for the last stage. I mean, having it as an obby is just stupid and lame. You can see, like, right now I'm currently recording as well. So you gotta realize that recording takes a big, like, penalty on CPU and GPU performance. But even when I am still recording, you can see I'm at, like, 200 FPS or so. And whenever you aren't really recording, like, I have some screenshots from last night when I was testing this. And I clearly I suck at obvious, so just ignore when I'm, I'm just like doing this so I can show you that the FPS is generally around like 200 whenever you are recording. Yesterday I was hitting about like 300, 360, 400, close to like that many. So basically this trick works on essentially every single Roblox game, Meep City, Jailbreak, Phantom Forces, Egg Hunt, anything. Although closed world games such as the Egg Hunt, this like last thing will obviously like yield um, uh, more FPS because their map is significantly easier to um render on the video card and like jailbreak is because it's an open world map i guess i'll go into phantom forces right now and like play at 200 300 fps on there i mean why not so i'm here currently on a phantom forces game i'm gonna go ahead and just like spawn in the server's like a little bit laggy so you can see like roblox is a little bit choppy and uh whoa someone's like where, where's this guy where where's that person uh, okay here he is here he is here's a guy okay let's shoot shoot these guys down yeah this server is so laggy for some reason like i don't know what is going on here but this server is just, like, lagging out like crazy right now. So I guess I'm in, like, a kind of decent location to show you this trick now. So what you gotta do is open up this, um, folder again. And you can double-click Injector, and that message will pop up. And as you can see right now, I'm getting, like, 80 to 100. And whenever you move your mouse around, there's, like, much less input lag. And, like, everything just feels so much smoother. So even if you have a 60 FPS monitor, I highly encourage you to do this. Because it will reduce the amount of input lag you have to deal with. And here's some guys back here, we can just go ahead and quickly shoot them down and we'll play a bit more Phantom Forces or something and I'll show you this. So this trick will basically work every map on Phantom Forces, every whatever in Jailbreak. You just gotta remember that every time you join a new game, especially when you're grinding Jailbreak, you're gonna have to like uh, restart the injector every time because it's um it's only like per instance of a Jailbreak, like if you close... If you close the game, then it's going to reset everything. So you want to make sure you open up the injector every time. Now, going to that folder over and over again is going to be a little bit painful. So what I'm going to show you now is how to easily be able to access this. So what you got to do is right-click this thing and click Create Shortcut. And now I can just drag the shortcut over to Desktop. And I already have it, so I can just X out of that. But basically, you just like drag it over to your screen. And now you can see on my screen, hopefully I can show you. So now I have um, an injector shortcut on my screen, and you can't really see it because it's on the same screen as my OBS, and otherwise it'll create like this um, infinite mirror effect. You just double click that, and when you do, this thing should pop up, same thing like clicking it in the folder. Basically just triggers the thing in the folder, so I guess if you enjoyed this um, trick to get unlimited FPS on Roblox, be sure to press like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.